So something I've been working on is a 3D printable skate wheel. Uh, not necessarily for skates, but for things like luggage, you know, because everything, you know, lots of things need caster wheels, and skate wheels are usually the best for that. I mean, it, who, everyone loves the luggage with skate wheels. I mean, it's just so much nicer uh, and softer, right? But skate wheels were actually made to take a lot of abuse. I mean, they were made for inline skates, right? Uh, and they've got a solid, like 100% solid, they pour a mold uh, TPU and it, it, it's, I mean, it's, it is just TPU, it's polyurethane. And the way you control how hard it is, is by selecting a particular blend of TPU. But what's interesting about 3D printing is you can actually make the TPU softer by controlling the infill. And this is just 15% gyroid infill. And I figured gyroid would probably be the best for something like this. And as you can see, as I press down, it squishes, right? But that doesn't necessarily have anything bad uh, as far as wearability is concerned because that is more a concern of how many uh, perimeters you use. So this just has, I think, four perimeters because it was just a test. Um, but for the next one, I think I'm going to increase the perimeters considerably and also increase the infill, and we'll see how, how soft it is. So even though this print failed, which, which was had nothing to do with the printer, it had to do with my spool holder, it got all tangled up as it got to you know, about three a third of the way through, I guess. Um, so yeah, I had a tangle with my spool holder, and that particular spool was quite unwindy. But what's interesting about this is it could be a little bit, uh, you know, revolutionary as far as, like, printing uh, skate wheels, well, just wheels in general, like soft-coated wheels, uh, because you can control how soft the feel of the wheel is. And if it's not going to get a lot of... Um, sideways motion it should last quite a long time with just something like say 10 perimeters uh, because I'm, I'm not i used to be a, a avid inline skater and let me tell you something as soon as the wheel loses you know about 25 percent to 33 percent of its exterior you don't want to really use that wheel anymore it's too it'll be too short and it won't be as grippy anymore and it'll be very flat so when you're coming around an edge as an as an inline skater you don't, your wheel will be all worn away, it'll be flat. So you, you, instead of having a nice, you know, uh, conforming edge to your turn, you'll be doing a turn kind of like this, and you get much less grippy. So the fact that the perimeters, you know, they won't wear all the way down to the very end before it's done isn't necessarily a, a bad thing. So this could be quite revolutionary as far as skate wheels go. Of course, this print's like, you know, 50, uh, 25 millimeters a second. It's very slow, but... It could be very luxurious, um, uh, and and also this is much cheaper than a regular skate wheel. This was like, I don't know, seventy five cents with a plastic, <laughs> whereas skate wheels are actually pretty expensive.